Toastmasters since 2017, winner of District 20 Humorous Speech Contest in 2020 and 2022. She is also winner of District 20 Evaluation Contest in Arabic in 2021 and 2022. She holds a master's degree in business administration by profession. She works as a senior manager at Australian University in Kuwait. Her motto in life, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. By Coco Chanel, please welcome with me Toastmaster Hanan Halush with the presentation title, How to Become a, to a Distinguished Toastmaster how to become a distinguished Toastmaster by Toastmaster Hanan Helush. Thank you, DTM Rashid. And good morning to all of the early birds here in the meeting. I see lots of handsome faces and beautiful faces also. How to become a distinguished Toastmaster? DTM is like the ultimate award for any Toastmaster member is seeking. It is like a star. You want to reach that star, that star, and become a DTM. Now, as one of the employers in the company I work in, it has been uh, become for myself for the pre previous years to look whenever I have a CV to review, to look not only for the career experience, but to look for what kind of extra development has that candidate done for himself. The volunteer job. And becoming a DTM, today we are going to see there is lots of volunteer job you are going to, to do. There are lots of give up to the community. And that's exactly what is interesting for me. Whenever I see such kind of awards of volunteer job in the CV, immediately I get interested in that candidate. So today I'm going to show, with the help of other panelists, I'm going to show you the road to become DTM in Pathways. So let's move on with our presentation. The next slide, please. Here we can see a summary of how to become a DTM. If you have noticed, there are many competencies you are going to cover whenever you pursue your road, your road to become a DTM you will hit on the competency of getting educated more. Your leadership competency will be enhanced and you'll get an extension in which you can just give up to the community. You'll also enhance in your competency to become a more supporter to your organization and to your community. So we'll get now into more details on how to become a DTM. So please, next slide. In summary, what are the requirements? First, complete two pathways. The second part or the second step is that you have to serve as a club officer for 12, 12 months, not less than 12 months. Third step, serve and complete a one-year term as a district officer. Serve successfully, and the key word here is successfully as a club mentor, or a club coach. The fifth step is to serve successfully as either a club sponsor, conduct a speech craft, or a youth leadership program. And your final step is to complete the T DTM project. Now let's get into more, dig deep into each one of these requirements. The first step is, next slide please, So I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, I'm sure if you are here in the meeting and you are pursuing your DTM, you know now that we already have 11 pathways. And in order for you to become or to pursue your DTM program, you have to at least finish two pathways of the 11 pathways, dynamic leadership, effective coaching, engaging humor and innovation, innovative planning, leadership development, motivational strategies, persuasive influence, presentation mastery, visionary communication, strategic relationships, and team collaboration. Each one of these pathways hits at different competencies you want to pursue. So it's your selection. Either you take an assessment and get the recommendation, or you just choose the 
pathway that you think it fits your personal plan and your career plans also. So mainly for each pathway, there are 15 speeches or projects. And if like, uh, let's say if you wanna speed up your uh, journey of finishing the two pathways, if you conduct a speech once every week, you'll be able to finish two pathways in seven and a half months. So that's extreme, I know but I'm just giving you some, uh, some suggestion. Now, some of the leadership pathways, they require you to do some uh, or organize events, uh, either in your community, in your club, or in your organization. So again, it, it might take more time than the 7.5 months. That's, that's our first requirement. Now you have already completed your two, two pathways. What next? What can you do next? Please go ahead, the next slide. Serve as a club officer for 12 months. It can be done both. You can pursue your pathways, projects or speeches, and also take a role in your club. You can take the role of the president, the vice president of education, vice president membership, vice president public relations, secretary, treasurer, and sergeant at arms. And I highly recommend this because this is your first step in leadership, right? Uh, uh, the motto of uh, Toastmaster is where leaders are made. So I do enc encourage everyone to take any role of these and serve within your club community. Now, what is our next step? Next slide, please. Now, I know there are many district officer uh, positions uh, like in the area level, district level, and the uh, division levels but only the following positions uh, give you the credit in order for you to become a DTM. So only these can help you become a DTM. So please take a note of them. You can serve as the district director, program quality director, club growth director, public relation manager, administrative manager, financial manager, division director, area director, and before we had this uh, role as the pathway ambassador or guide when uh, the pathways first uh, was introduced. So if you have that, then that will be accounted as one of the credits and you'll be able to pursue to the next level. So again, at the end of the day, point two and three, you can serve them at the same, at the same time. You can be uh, take a, a leadership role in your club and at the same time, you can be the area director, let's say, you can be the division director. So it's a double leadership role at the same time, if you if you want to save time and if you want to uh, pursue your leadership, your DTM award fast. Next slide, please. Okay, great. So now we've reached the point in which you have to serve successfully as a club coach or a club mentor. And you have noticed now for the previous two years, we have some of our clubs are struggling and they need coaches. So for you, I do recommend this. We are going first to talk about the club coach. For you to become and to extend your leadership and your skills to the other clubs, I would recommend you to go to the following steps. First, contact our club, uh, our, uh, uh, club uh, our club growth director, DTM, or what future DTM, uh, Yasser al Gashar. Ask him. What exactly, what, who, uh, who are the clubs he can recommend in order for you to become their club coach? That's your first step. Reach out to our club growth director. He will recommend for you a club. Reach out to the president of that club. Get his or her approval. There is a form you need to, for, uh, to fill, which is the club coach agreement. Fill that form, get it, get it signed by the CGD, and the president of the club. Now, what does a club coach do? What is required from you as a club coach? You have to help a struggling club to get back to into their feet. That may be because loss of leadership. It can be because me, uh, members are leaving, uh, are leaving maybe because uh, guests are not coming to the club. So it, you have to help that club to get in, it, into its, his, his feet. The club should be uh, of 12 members or less. They've already paid their membership fees. And now as a club coach, you want to help them 
become distinguished club. The coach cannot be a member of that assigned club because again, uh, you have to view it uh, more objectively. So if you wanna, if you are going to be one of the club members, you are not going to be objective uh, giving uh, hints or helping that club. So an outsider, you'll be a much more guide to them. Whenever you finish filling the form, you send the form to club coach at toastmaster.org so that that will be noted within Toastmaster International. Next slide, please. A club can have two coaches at the same time. Again, we said the club cannot, uh, the club coach cannot be a member in that assigned club. In order for your assignment to finish, you have to reach, that club has to reach the distinguished uh, level. So your assignment will finish by the June of the same year or the June of the next year if they didn't accomplish the distinguished level. Right? Next slide, please. Okay, so we said serve successfully as a club coach and we gave details on how to become a club coach. Let's talk now about a club mentor. Now a club coach helps a struggling club. A club mentor teach, advise, and guide a newly charted club in every way possible from membership and educational. So you, to become a club mentor, you have to know the ins and outs of Toastmasters. You have to be able to answer all the questions. Right, so you have to be the, at that senior level. Two, uh, maximum two mentors can be assigned to a new club. And the, uh, of course you have to, uh, at the time of the ch charting of the club, your name has to be introduced to Toastmaster International that you are the mentor, the club mentor, or uh, immediately after, either uh, at the time of uh, charting the club or not less than 60 days after the club is charted. Minimum time to serve as a club mentor is six months. The club president, whenever your assignment has finished, the club president and, uh, sorry, the club president has to send your name to the Toastmaster International that you have completed your assignment. Now, in summary, the club coach helps to rebuild a dead club, while the mentor helps to grow a new club. Now, unless you know that uh, soon to come or in the future, there will be new clubs to be charted, I would recommend the best way for you to do is to help and find through our CGD to find a struggling club and become their club coach. Next slide, please. Our, now, you've, sir, you've completed your two pathways. You served, you took a role in your club in the XCOM. You've also become either a club coach or a club mentor. Your next step, uh, sorry, then also you've taken the uh, role as in the district level as a district officer and you've listed what are the available roles for you to become a DTM. Your next step is to serve su successfully as a club sponsor or conduct a speech craft, or a youth leadership program. So let's start. What is meant by a club sponsor? A club sponsor is responsible for charting a new club. Your job is to find new leads from all around us, either, either in your organization, in your community, and help them, guide them to become a club, a Toastmaster club. And we are really in need in District 24 corporate clubs, especially. Maximum two club sponsors can charter a new club. So once you have a lead, you then have to prepare for a demonstration, a demo meeting, and discuss the financial matters uh, with the organization or with the community or with the, with the corporate. Next slide, please. Of course, whenever you uh, prepare for the demo meeting, you have, to, uh, you have to find the appointment holders, minimum 20 members to charter that club, that new club, publicize for the meeting, 
pick temporary be uh, club officers until they do the elections and then finally launch the club your name as the club sponsor has to be submitted during the charting of the new club not after that the club president has to send the toastmaster in a, con a confirmation e email that you have you are uh, the club uh, uh, sponsor and you your completion or your assignment has completed so by this, you'll be, a, you have served successfully as a club sponsor. Next slide, please. Speechcraft. Some of us here have conducted some speechcraft uh, programs, but the speechcraft work is mainly is a workshop, it can be for six or eight sessions. And mainly it is designed for the attendees or the speech crafters to enhance and develop their basic public speaking skills. And of course, it is a tool for membership, for a club to enhance their membership also, because they can easily transfer these speech crafters into members. You have to be the main conductor of the speech craft program. Of course, you can have other members, other club members to help you, to be assistance, assistance to you. But again, since you are the main conductor, your name is the only name has to be submitted to uh, Toastmaster International so that you can get the credit toward becoming a DTM. Um, what else? Of course, the meetings are being conducted in the speech craft as regular Toastmaster meetings. Um, the agenda is the same. There will be prepared speeches. There will be table topic session, general evaluation. And uh, of course, you have to monitor all that to ensure a smooth workshop. Next slide, please. If you are not interested to conduct a speech craft program, you can always go for the youth leadership program. Youth leadership program is for youth under the age of 18. Again, that's to introduce to them the public speaking skills and enhance their leadership from the name, enhance their leadership skills. The, uh, this, it, it, the program itself is consisting of eight sessions, each of one to two hours. And of course, there will be a final presentation so that the kids or the youth can present to their parents, their friends, to their community, and that would demonstrate uh, the levels or the skills they have gained. The sessions are conducted exactly the same like at any Toastmaster meeting, similar to the speech craft program. Next slide, please. The youth leadership program is free of charge. And it is sponsored sponsors completely by the Toastmaster Club, who is uh, conducting the uh, the program. The uh, standard size is twenty, and the maximum of twenty participants. So uh, to get the how can maybe some of you will would uh, ask themselves how can I get these youth? Where where should I look for? You can easily look to either get your club uh, children. Bring, they can bring their children. You can reach out to schools or any youth organization, and it is all around us, uh, either in Kuwait, Bahrain, Iraq, or Egypt. Now, the conductor requires, of course, a team of assistants, uh, but as I said, the main, only the main conductor of the pro program gets the credit toward DTM. For me, I believe that's a great initiative. The Youth Leadership Program is a, a great initiative because it helps us as Toastmasters extend our uh, arm to the community, prepare the next generation, and enhance their communication skills, especially in this digital age. Many kids do know how to communicate through digits, but they don't know how to communicate face, face to face. And maybe that's our part to do. Next slide, please. Okay, now we've reached to the core, let's say. <laughs> and some of us might face some issues here and they, I'm, so, I'm sure some of uh, us here would like more information about that's what, that's why we have our panelists today. So now you have completed level five of your first pathway. You've completed level three of your second different pathway. The moment you do that, then you'll be able to reach out to Toastmaster Education Program at Toastmasters.org, send them an email and ask them to, uh, for the program, the DTM program, to be added to your transcript. But you have to complete, again, you have to complete 
the second pathway in order for you to be eligible at the end to get your DTM, but you'll be able to open and add it to the DTM program. You'll be able to add it to your program once you complete the level, level three of your second pathway. So next slide, please. Okay, we said now this is the last uh, step, complete the DTM project. What do you need to do in order for you to cover this point or this part or this stage, let's say, of your DTM journey? The DTM project is mainly designed for you to review the content of all level five projects and to apply them by creating a large project of your own. The DTM project must benefit an organization. It can be your Toastmasters club, your company, a, co a community club, or any association, a service club, or any organization you believe in. Even though it is not recommended to use projects and roles that are predefined by Toastmaster International, but you can. Now, in the official Toastmaster guidelines, the example they have given is that you, let's say you are the vice president of education of your club, you can, for you to perform this DTM project, you can chair an education community, community to improve the club meetings, build membership, or develop a stronger report in your community. That's an example of a DTM project. What is interesting for me is there is no timeline for this DTM project. So as you can see, only a small portion of the requirement is about your speaking skill. The majority helps you become a better leader in all these stages of becoming or the road to become a DTM. It is no wonder that the tagline of Toastmaster International is where leaders are made. So let's get into more details about this DTM project. Plan and complete a project that benefits an, organ an organization, as I have explained. Develop a team that can help you in this project and design a plan. Deliver a five to seven minute spe speech at the club meeting to share your plan. Organize the project and lead your team to complete it, whatever the project is, as you see fit. Next slide, please. Ask members of your team, uh, organization, and peer to complete a, three, a 360 evaluation of your leadership skills after you have completed your project. Deliver an, an eight to 10 minute speech at the club meeting to review your project, its outcomes, benefits, and the lessons you have learned. And as I said, interesting that it has no timeline, so uh, you can go as per your own pace. Next, please. And voila, by the end, you have taken the following credits. A leadership position, becoming as uh, the club officer. A leadership also position being the district officer, one of the district officers in, uh, for one year. You have helped others by becoming either the club mentor or club coach. You have also added maybe new clubs uh, being the, the club sponsor. You also help the youth or any speech non-members or speech crafters by conducting speech craft program or a youth leadership program. And at the end of the day, you've conducted a project that helps your community or organization, and you'll be really um, taking credit for that. We've fi finished now all the stages. What else we have to do? Let's go to the next slide. Fill the DTM award application form. Send that form, get it signed, of course. Send that form to the Toastmaster International and wait for, you, for your DTM award. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> it's so easy. It takes time. But again, you can go as per your own pace. Uh, you like. For example, I can suggest for you become an, a club officer and the district officer at the same time. Also, you can follow your uh, pathways, the education, you can follow your pathways, complete these two pathways. It might take time for you to become club coach or a club mentor with the help of our CGD sponsor, 
a club uh, uh, speech craft program or a youth leadership program. VTM project is again another story. It takes time, but at the end of the day, you'll get the reward because it's not only the DTM award, it's the reward of helping others and extending our hand to them. And by this, I finish my presentation. If you have any questions, at the end, we'll be having question and answer session. Please, we'll be asking you to just uh, put the uh, questions in the chat box or maybe raise your hand and we'll be able to help you then. Uh, I'll be, my session will be followed by a, a panel uh, discussion, which is going to be conducted by three amazing DTMs. And I'm, myself, I'm anxious to hear from every one of them. Back to you, our MC, DTM Rashid Manu. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Hanan Alush, for the detailed and gracefully done presentation. And I think every time you mention DTM, Toastmaster Yasser is like, oh, he's like, don't worry, Toastmaster Yasser, you will get there, you will get the chance to invite us to the Gulf Hotel. Don't worry, we'll uh, don't leave you at that. Now, a Greek philosopher, Plato, once said, wise men, speak because they have something to say. Fools speak because they want to say something. We have a panel discussion and question and answer session now where our three wise men will attempt to answer your questions and lead you and guide you through the road to become a DT. Starting with an MBA graduate who has extensively worked in India and Africa continent, while heading the organization, he has built effective and result-oriented teams, has been Pathways Manager and conducted around 70 Pathways sessions. He has done various leadership in club, area, division and district and region. He has he was chosen as District 20 Toastmaster of the Year for the term 2020-2021. Please welcome our first panelist, Distinguished Toastmaster, Roshan Lewis. Our second panelist is presently working for KPC subsidiary, Saba International Group of Company in the position of SSE manager, ERS organization for, for resilience, Kuwait oil company. He was awarded best division director for the year 2018-2019, achieved best pathways guide uh, during D20 DAC 2018, head of education of DTAC 2022, Adding to this, he has received two Distinguished Toastmaster Award, two Outstanding Toastmaster Awards, various District Awards for PQD, CGD, and several Triple Crowns. Please welcome Distinguished Toastmaster Ram Kumar. And our third panelist Thank you. is a professionally co uh, professional, uh, uh, a corporate trainer, a coach, and a mentor running his own real estate agency and insurance brokerage in Hyderabad now. He has achieved triple crown every year since joining Toastmaster, a member of only nine clubs in only four districts, including the founder districts and District 20, District 21, and District 105. Achieved Distinguished Toastmasters four times and is planning to achieve his fifth ETM this term. Please welcome distinguished Toastmaster Anananta Venkata Murali Manohar. And to lead this panel session, we have to call again our wonderful presenter. And uh, in addition to being a, a, a champion speaker, she is also a pathways coordinator for District 20 this year. Please welcome Toastmaster Hanan Halush. Thank you. Thank you very much, our amazing uh, MC today. And uh, I mean, I, I feel small in, <laughs> in addition to all these amazing three DTMs, and I'm looking forward to learn from you. Uh, the, our panel discussion will be divided into main, two main segments. I will ask one common question to all the three DTMs. And then there will be one question addressed to each one of the panelists. So let's start with our first common question. And we would like to start with DTM Roshan Lewis. So DTM Roshan, 
welcome uh, first. And can you please answer this for me? And I'm sure this has been going through the minds of our audience. Can you please talk about your personal experience gaining the DTM award through Pathways? How long did it take? What roles did you take? And what was your DTM project? Thank you very much, panel moderator, Tosma Sananalush. Thank you very much for your wonderful presentation. Thank you, team, for giving me an opportunity to be here with wonderful people, wonderful session, with beautiful Friday morning. Coming to my question. Toastmasters, we are all Toastmasters. We all wait for one that D. That's, that's what amazing, which makes us DTM. And I want to tell you my experience. Before adding this D, you have to concentrate on four Ds, very important. One is design a deadline for a DTM. That's a first D. Deadline, when you want to become Toastmasters. I'll tell you my experience after. Second D, a dedicated plan. You want to have a dedicated plan Detailed plan with dedication, then finally you deliver that plan. So four Ds. If you have, you're already DTM. I repeat, deadline, detailed plan, dedication, and deliver that plan. I'll tell you why. I did those DTM in thousand days within three years. How? Break the sequence. You always see the six points for DTM Alush, this, uh, Tosma Salush discussed. Uh, six points. DTM project is last. Don't go with the sequence. Break the sequence first. That's my ex experience. I did my president and area director, same year. And you can finish your two parts so fast. Thanks to pandemic, I was in seven clubs, gave my multiple club speeches. Take the advantage of situation. That's a leadership. That's what I did. And I complete my project, my club, Kanata Club, my DTM project was for the club, how to take club into president distinguished uh, status because previous year we suffered a lot, we lost a lot of members. So I created three simultaneous event part of my project, 500th meeting of KCT where I invited 600 global audience. I created motivation for people in the club so that they feel Kanata Club is great. Second, I connected, appreciate all old members and connected a meeting. And third, with the division support, we conducted 2020, 20 years of KCT, where so all three activities made simultaneously, club got, got so much motivation. And that year we got new members of club got this president distinguished. So that's what's my pro pro project of into that. And coming to my experience, wonderful experience. What I learned from DTM journey is, First, it is easy. Don't uh, sorry, DTM Roshan, let's keep that. It's another question. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So uh, in order for us to keep the panelists on track and they also save the time, uh, please note, uh, dear panelists, that we, you have three minutes to answer each question. If, you, if Tamer, can you please help me in that? Dosma uh, Halush, uh, can you highlight the timer also in the... Uh, yes, uh, our moderator, if you can, yes. Yeah. If you can highlight also the timer, please. Raise and the assign hand. three That's minutes enough. for yes, and assign three minutes for each question, please. Thank you very much, uh, DTM Roshan. Amazingly done, and I loved your three Ds. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our next uh, panelist, DTM Ram Kumar. How are you today? Okay, great. So I would like you to answer. Thank you. Uh... Oh, four Ds. Uh, uh, DTM Rashid is correcting me. Four Ds. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, DTM Ram, let's answer the same question, please. The common question. Can you speak uh, about your personal experience gaining the DTM award? How long did it take? What roles did you take? And what was your DTM project? In three minutes, please. Thank you, wonderful panelists, bio leaders. Namaste. First of all, the four things. We always reach beyond the borders. Doesn't matter. But don't cross the limits. I always reflected on the four values. We rise with values. Respect, integrity, service, and excellence. That was the first thing it went into my mind. Second, getting inspiration from the world class leaders. 
world champions pull less bend more what does it make me understand is bend more bold towards number servant leadership if you're talking about the leadership it is all about you are a member member servant leadership that was in my mind deeply rooted you talk about the experience those marks is the platform which way gave me a set a platform to fly high falling in love with my curriculum with the 300 competences imagine that there was a pathways guide that made me even more stronger whenever i go and deliver as a pathways guide it helped me understand what is the need to do a need analysis from the member's point of view don't you think that served my purpose as a leader to stand up not with the professional experience but also in the public speaking communication integration collaboration cooperation and communication aspects six months i achieved a dtm the reason i was member of three clubs Quite a grand source master sale debaters and capital speakers is my home club. They were all dynamic leaders. At the same time, I chose to be division director parallelly without waiting for somebody come and do. You have to plan meticulously, like Vikram Roshan said, like Anand. She was presenting the all the eleven parts what is required. I chose leadership development first. Then I learned. Then I found some after eleven. I Ten parts were there. Recently, we have engaging humor. I chose dynamic leadership because that persuaded me. That generated more curiosity to know about it. What is dynamic leadership? First, I started with leadership development, knowing the skills, competences, what is the requirement, how do you do presentation mastery, how to speak with confidence, not with claustrophobia. So finally, passion, perseverance, persistence, effort. and meticulous planning don't procrastinate things if you have to all my evaluations i chose myself at this thing with those master btm wafa dr makluf btm you name it i bought from different places btm anil lobo is very critical evaluator btm nancy there are you know and btm um, I, i i will never forget this person uh, Uh, DTM uh, Anil Kumar Revankar. He, I consider him as a guru. Calm, composed, at the same time, meticulously performed. A critical evaluation is one thing that I always take it seriously because I never approach the second evaluator for the same thing. Wherever the flaws are there, you need to repeat the project when he said. I went after requesting the other, asking for the meeting slot. That is how I passionately discovered my. the sleep performing at the end the dtm title not one two both traditional and the pathways and today i am here have you have you noticed any awe come to me that's the passion you get and i stand up in the my corporate organization the world class quick petroleum corporation thank you i've served thank you as thank a you leader i'm i'm i i, yeah. I know one second as a leader uh, one second uh, one second hanan i uh, closing my remarks please the simple mantra i want to give to the audience and the members and the panelists here if i can't who else can this is the mantra i followed and the results are in front of you thank you for giving me the opportunity thank you Over thank you dtm ram uh, uh, there is one uh, branch question you didn't answer what was your dtm project that you have uh, you've done please in 10 seconds we are just uh, keeping track i said the dtm what project was it? i said uh, dtm project i said leadership development two parts i chose and development of leadership dynamic leadership and leadership development no 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 uh, the dtm project you've done the last stage what was your project yes yes La- last uh, stage hpl project hpl project mass youth outreach program which i did can get conducted a beach mm-hmm. cleaning campaign and combined with led donation this was okay. very impressive because i am american society of safety professional charter member thank you Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to our third amazing panelist, DTM Morley. The common question again: Can you please talk about your personal experience gaining the DTM award? How long did it take? What roles did you take? What was your DTM project? 
Great. A very good morning to all of you. Uh, let me tell you, first of all, I am a selfish man. When I pay money to anything, I try to utilize it to the full. Even when I go for a movie, I see from the time the screen is taken off uh, and screen is closed. So in the same way, in the first year of my Toastmaster, when I joined in 2013, May, I attended 200 meetings. And uh, unfortunately, in April 2014, I had to leave Kuwait for good. I never thought that I will come back to Kuwait again. But again, God willing, I was asked to come back in June 2018. That's the time I thought I should complete my DTM. Till that time, four years, I was actively inactive and uh, no connection with the Toastmasters. But when I came back, I immediately, I mean, by the time I have completed everything except the HPL project, in the year 2018, I mean, in the year 2019, January, I organized the International Speech Contest for Gabeliers in Kuwait uh, under the leadership of a distinguished Toastmaster, Alka Kumara, and the chief guest was the uh, international world champion of public speaking, Ramona Smith. And with this, I could achieve my first, uh, my DTM project. My second project, third project, fourth project, everything was different. Now, how much time, as I told you, though it took me in papers five years, but it was only two years, uh, almost two years, I completed my DTM project, uh, DTM in my Toastmaster. Now, what is the thing I got? As I told you, when you pay something, you have to make a uh, full list, uh, the, I mean, utilization. I'm a finance man, return on investment. And uh, what I have done, even as our DTM Roshan said, during this last two years, I was I'm still at home within the four walls. Within the four walls, I've been there, but I have completed three DTM. Uh, I mean, two completed and third I'm completing next month. It's how, because I'm a member of seven, eight clubs. I've done leadership roles. I've been a coach for three different clubs in three different e years. And I got my credit for that. And I got my credit uh, with my four, fourth DTM was as a division director. Last year, I was the area director. God willing, that is going to be my fifth DTM project, uh, DTM um, award I'm going to use. So overall, I enjoyed it to a master's journey. <clears throat> and let me tell you, as a person who is dealing with people, I made sure I attend every day Toastmaster meeting and, uh, make, and make sure that uh, I meet new people and the following day, I meet them professionally and do my business. So I have used Toastmaster not for uh, um, communication or leadership. I've used them for my networking. I have been successfully successful and I hope I will be. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, DTM Morley. Thank you. Now let's move on to our next uh, question. DTM Roshan. The question is, what are the new skills you learned during your journey to become DTM in Pathways? It's a very good question. First thing I learned new skills, skill is take a target, hit it before the deadline. That's the first thing. Second, you learn meticulous planning. Third, in terms of terms of if you see DTM requirement, that's clearly divided. One, as for you to learn communication and leadership skills, that is two parts very important. Then you are forced to serve the club, so service to your club. Next, you have to take a leadership position outside the club like district uh, uh, officer and club coach, mentor. Then you serve society as a youth leader program or speech craft. And finally, you do a bigger scale to your club or somebody the help with the DTM project. So these are the skills apart from speaking, and uh, leading and serving. This is the major skills what I felt I learned while doing this project also. For example, there is a pro uh, elective, speak professionally. It is 18 to 22 minutes speech. It's in electives in level three and another level, uh, part, some parts level four or level five. So here I spoke 22 minutes outside the club. So it helped me for first my two projects were leader, uh, dynamic leadership and engaging humor. In both projects, I took this electives repeatedly. So I spoke nearly 50 minutes to an outside bigger audience. So that is a skill I learned how to face bigger audience from Toastmasters platform. 
And there is one more project, connect with your audience, it's elective, which says you have to give a speech to unfamiliar audience. So what we do in Toastmasters, it is a learning ground, but what you do outside unfamiliar ground is very important. That project was highly exciting to me. I went outside, I did a learning teaching for a teachers. I don't know them, I just went and presented myself. That's a learning skills, face unknown audience with the confidence. And there's one more very interesting project, question and answer session. So you talk your subject, your metal will be learned there. Metal will be, uh, you know, examined, tested there. I did not do it for Toastmasters Club because I know my friend, they will ask whatever genuine question. We are all time conscious. But outside, when you see, they ask me for 45 minute session. So interesting crowd asked me around 45 minutes question and answers. So I was teaching them why communication leadership very important. So these are the skills, you know, abundant skills I learned. I time permits, I can list out more. Thank you very much. Back to you. Panel. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, DTM Roshan. Amazing answer. Uh, let's go now to DTM Ram. DTM Ram, how does being distinguished Toastmaster help you in your personal and career life? How does being a distinguished Toastmaster help you in your personal and career life? Thank you, DTM Hanan. The simple answer to this question is, we cannot live without water, without air. What is the use of your academic? What is the use of Toastmaster International Certificate? What is the use of highest DTM credit? If you do not answer or unable to answer the questions being asked in the interview, I need to be direct. The most important thing is communication, communication, communication. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes better things. The skills I acquired through youth leadership program, empowering youth, because the questions, I believe that here, whoever are the panelists or the fathers or the mother who are sitting here, children ask some questions, children ask some questions. We are, we are actually past. We don't know what the question is being asked because we get surprised. Similarly, Empowering youth leadership helped me at once as a DTM. Second, the recognition comes all across, since model school, all those masters club. Uh, Gino Thomas. There are, these are the people who are the teachers and they correct me and pinpoint, picking, picking things, bits and pieces. You don't know how your general like this, how to class stronger how to empower as a team, to build your team. Together, everyone achieve more. So I built my leadership work. Youth leadership empowerment, youth empowerment is not, it's not easy. Because some children will not respond to you. You have to fit with them. You need to be compassionate with them. The so way you express your emotions, the expression. If this is not a skill, what is the skill that? Children, when they are developing, you can shout. At the same time, you can pat, pat, they are calm. But adults, leading with them, dealing with them, and developing them, it's not easy. So I learn to calm down when I'm speaking with the adults. I learn to explore to fly high, stretching my wings to fly high with the youth. So leadership is nothing, but if you have something in you, pour it out, put it out, explore it out, express it, think locally, act globally. That's what my guru in HSSC professional, Ashok Garlapati said, and I, Believe in it. Over to Madam Hanan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diti Amram. Amazingly done. Now let's move on to our last question for our DTM Morley. DTM Morley, what tips can you share with members interested to start their DTM journey? Thank you. My guru, distinguished Toastmaster Anil Lobo, used to say that. When you start, 
you have to remember the end you have to start with the end in mind and this is what i've learned that you plan even dtm roshan louis said that you plan your dtm journey when to give where to give let me tell you what i have done in every meeting of mine or every speech of mine i have never chosen almost uh, i made sure that the evaluators are new so make sure that you have a new evaluator so that your job is to improve second thing this dtm don't time me this is what many people say i say that if you are a dtm you have to be a road model role model for others in my almost 9 years of uh, toastmas journey very few speeches or evaluation i have crossed the time limit so please make sure that you prepare very well if your speech is 18 minutes to 22 minutes plan only for 18 minutes because there will be some interruption some questions being asked so make sure that you always be within the time 18 to 20 minutes means 22 minutes means it is not meant that you should go up to 20 to 30 that is 22 minutes and 30 seconds you can deliver whatever you want to say within that time limit so my tip first is plan your dtm journey what you want to do what project you want you want to do dtm project and uh, create something out of the box and so that you can be a winner you can be a different person third is determine what project you want to take and plan every meeting of yours now that you have asked me let me tell you all my five dtm projects the fifth one i am doing it uh, inshallah on the 6th of august all for what i have completed are different from one another i just did initially one for the division e director when i was the division director that was my dtm project but all others were totally away for the society and how we can kindle people to think about not just uh, green yellow red but something outside that and what toastmaster has done for me i will add that i'm a great speaker i know i can speak for one hour without even sipping a drop of water but this is what i've learned from toastmaster if your speech is 1 to 2 minutes or 2 to 3 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes or 4 to 6 5 to 7 whatever it is try to speak within the time i can tell you that if some like dtm ramkumar said if we can do everybody else can do and we are there as a team to support you don't think you are alone in this journey we are all there to help you and make sure that i can tell you in my 9 years career almost 8 to 10 toastmaster i have helped them to become a distinguished toastmaster thank you and over to you thank you thank you very much dtm morley to the point uh, all these steps thank you very much now i uh, would like now to move on to the audience questions and i have one question to start with that was shared to me uh, through chat box let's uh, address this um, question to dtm roshan now toastmaster anis is asking how will the credit will be valid the dtm credit how how long it will be valid and also is asking asking should i organize a youth leadership program and get few credits is there any timeline yeah. first question uh, dtm qualification is lifetime your dashboard or your club central will for example you are doing engaging humor one you are finished level one your name will be given to roshan lewis eh1 suppose you finished eh5 it will change to dh5 but when it is taken into dtm it is dtm after that how many paths you will do it will be dtm so that is there's no time limit it is for lifetime coming to ylp there is no uh, credit or timeline or anything you can do it with your club if but track your everything in a nice format if i will be allowed with a quick that's for a learning i just share one screen can we allowed to share the screen for a minute and there's one more important things uh, things for the toastmasters see you will be thinking how we did one year two year three years see when i uh, mean uh, past international director lak dolly came she brought a rule swapping of the credits suppose you are a club coach you successfully finish your credit as a club coach then you no need to give a, a district direct a district leader position so you can swap it it's not vice versa but it is so always keep a 
track on this. I just completed for this is my first DTM. You can see the screen. I have kept all the data here. What are my path I have completed? DTM when I have completed? Club officer role when I have completed? Which club? Court training when I have completed? District leader I have not given because I did uh, Indian Academy club coach. Then I we took a swapping. So I kept my area director as safe, safe for the next DTM. So this is a planning youth leadership IDD November 19. Second thing, now I just submitted my second DTM. You see, now I'm planning, kept my third DTM open. I'm We are planning, that planning is very important. <laughs> To answer your question, there is no time limit, but you plan well, you can always. How is credit analyzed is only through your some credits on dashboard, like mentor, sponsor, coach, it is in the dash dashboard. Your pathways project is in the dashboard. But why speechcraft is in our new speechcraft is dashboard. But YLP, as of now, your VPE credibility. VPE signs the form. When you're conducted, which one, that's enough. And Toast, Toastmaster doesn't ask any other questions. Have I answered your question? If not, I can give you some other answers too. Answer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diti Amroshan. Now, uh, uh, I would like to encourage the uh, non-English speakers, I mean the Arabs, if uh, you'd like to ask a question in Arabic, please raise your hand and I will be able to translate that to our uh, panelists. Now, we have a question. We have uh, Tosmaser Saleh Tarab has raised his hand. Please unmute yourself and ask, yourself, uh, ask your question to Diti M. Ram Kumar. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Hanan. I really enjoyed your presentation and all the comments. Uh, it's been very worthwhile uh, listening to all the speakers. My question uh, regarding your uh, presentation, how to become a DTM, is related to some of the office, uh, positions which you take as uh, a district officer or whatever it is. Now, the, my question is, uh, I joined Toastmasters since 2006, and I was the founder of uh, Corporate Club. Uh, but I did a lot of uh, positions within that period of time, like a club officer, treasurer, and, uh, different uh, positions within the Toastmasters uh, officer's uh, requirements. Uh, so does that count or we have to count the positions when we started Pathways? So my question is, does previous positions before Pathways count uh, towards the getting the DTM or not? I think the DTM, I think, I think the DTM Ram is uh, stuck. Can yeah, I please answer, the DTM, or if, we, if you can answer this question. Yes, uh, Toastmaster Saleh, everything is there. Uh, you are, uh, all your records are in the, our profile. And if I have to share with you, I have a, a DTM uh, Radhakrishna Panikar, who was everything except that he did not do DTM project in the traditional one. And when I was the president of that club and I ensured that he does that uh, um, HPL project those days, which was called the leadership project. And we did that. And everything was, it is there in the system. Those days, he, there was no CCRCL. It was before CCRCL, we had CTM. So everything, whatever role you have done, whatever speeches you have given, are all there in the profile of yours. You can check it by going to your profile and see education awards and roles. There is another one called roles. If you check, everything is there. And if you need any assistance, we have PQD team. And uh, if you want to contact me, we can help you out. Great. Thank Thanks a lot, DTM Morley. Now we're moving on. We have another question from uh, Toastmaster uh, Janie from Di District 114. Janie, please unmute yourself and ask your I question. DTM. Uh, are, we, are you with us, DTM uh, Ram? Okay, let's ask the question to DTM Roshan in this case. Please, Janie, unmute yourself and ask your question. Yes, thank you very much. I'm coming from District 114 at the invitation of DTM Morali. Thank you very much. My question, I have two and I'll ask them quickly. You talked about the pathway coordinator and guide as being one, it can fill the requirement of district leadership. This is the first time I'm hearing that. And I kindly wanted you to talk a little bit about that. What does that role entail? And does it still stand as a district leadership? And then the other one, just a question to the DTMs. In your journey as DTMs, do you, and when you're mentoring others, do you hold each other and, and hopeful DTMs to, 
to account to be accountable for higher standards. If I was in a meeting and I was doing a shoddy job and you are my mentor, do you come back to me and tell me, Janie, that is not good as a DTM? So how do you hold yourselves accountable to keep that standard of a DTM? Thank you and back to you. Thank you very much. Just to correct one, the, the, the pathway coordinator is not a credit or does not lead you to become uh, a DTM. It is pathway uh, ambassador and pathway guide. They, they were roles before when the pathways first introduced. Okay, so if you yeah. have taken that role before, then that can be accounted for. Please DTM Russian. Yeah, I agree with you. As of now, pathways are basically that position. The pathways ambassador guide, ambassador guide, our pathways manager is not the role now. But previously, if you have done, maybe the first initial it might have taken. It is Toastmasters International uh, acceptance, but it's not the rule now. So we are clear with that. Second, yes, DTM is in within the Toastmaster community. When DTMs do something, they are accountable for bring that quality and uh, the outcome. And as a DTM. We have to take feedback positively because Toastmaster life, essence of Toastmaster life is taking feedback, not critical, constructive feedback in a positive way. That's why before do anything as a DTM, always do passionately and with unique way. That's why always I say, if you do want to become number, you want to become, uh, you do best, you'll become number one, but you do unique, you will be the only one. So whenever you do something, do differently, that's what members expect from you. And they should come and tell you, yes, DTM, this was something new I learned. So whenever, for example, I'll tell you, whenever I do presentations, I never copy presentation from the same presentation, we sit and add value and create that presentation. I 100% agree with you, Toastmaster. It's a very valid question. We are accountable for the feedback and the outcome what we bring. Otherwise, there's no essence of that big D. Thank you, back to you. Thank you very much, thank you. Now we have a question from Toastmaster Jagadish. Can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? To uh, DTM, yeah, are you. you with us? Yes, yes, I'm with, I'm with you. Uh, thank yeah. you, Toastmaster, for the nice presentation. Uh, just uh, I would like to ask about uh, this old projects like CC, CL, and club officer roles. Whatever we have done previously, still is it accountable for DTM or we have we need to do uh, freshly? That is uh, one first my question. And second is uh, uh, one of our club club mentor they want to change. Is it possible? Already one club formed last year. Yes, please, Thank Deputy you. Morley, if you can answer the both yeah. questions. Yes, uh, I'm still, you. I'm uh, Ram Kumar, you. Uh, just a minute. Uh, your system, uh, we have an uh, issue with you by, uh, to listen to your this thing. Okay, Toastmaster uh, Jagdish, um, up to June 2020, we had that option of utilizing all your old credits. And uh, thanks to Pathways, which was launched in March 2018. Uh, it is not 2020, it's 2019. So after that, you could not, uh, you cannot use any of your old this thing, but it is there in the system. Your positions, what you have taken will be there, but your educational credits will not be uh, conduct, I mean, utilized because Pathways has got a different education system starting from level one to level five. So that is gone. Uh, they had given enough time for those people to uh, organize themselves. Uh, Madam, what was the second question? Uh, this uh, one, one, one. This leadership is a valid. Is it accountable? Yeah, leadership. 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 Everything Question is it. there except your educational awards. They have gone with the wind. Uh, they have been replaced with the pathways. Thank you, thank you, Diti Amoli. We thank have you. now uh, time for only one more question, and we'll wrap it up. Of course, uh, the PQD team is always uh, reachable and you can always reach out to us through WhatsApp, through phone calls, face-to-face -face meetings, anytime we are there. So our last question is from our CGD, future DTM, Yasser al -Kashar. Please unmute yourself and ask your question to DTM Rosh. Or, uh, are you with us, DTM Ram? Uh, still, I think uh, he's not there. Okay, please, uh, uh, Tosmasar Yasser, ask your question. Thank you, DTM Hanan, uh, and thanks all for all the panels. It was a great opportunity for us. I have one, one information 
one information and one one question. I'm uh, Mr. Thank you. Can you hear me? I'm loud and clear. Yes, okay. please. Go ahead, Dr. Uh, yeah. Okay. So regarding the coaching, uh, as as you mentioned, there uh, you can uh, you can have two points from coaching uh, to replace one of the office leaders like area or division or this one, if, if you become a coach and instead of adding five member and become distinguished, if you, if the club have reached 20 member, you will give, yeah, you'll give another point and you can use it instead of any position of leaders, uh, district leaders. Uh, this is additional with the, the new. And my, co my question is now, uh, a DTM is a great opportunity and a value that we are ho all hoping to. It. What is, if you become a DTM, what is the, the, the most thing or that you should show as a DTM? Because finally it is, you are an uh, ambassador of Toastmaster or representing Toastmaster International with the, with the word of DTM. So uh, what is the thing that you should show to the other that you become as a DTM, uh, you should uh, show some skills, some uh, even uh, as the DTM uh, Roshni mentioned, how to re uh, represent Toastmaster International as a DTM. So, absolutely right. Uh, this question is for me, DT uh, Toastmaster. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. DTM Roshni, please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, first point, what information uh, CGD gives absolute because many people don't know. If you have to take swapping credit without district officer, you have to become January 1st to June 6th month club coach and make the club 20 members, not just five members, base 20 members. That's one thing. Coming to your question, what DTM is? First, DTM has to train other Toastmaster and motivate and come to the panel discussion and share your experience. That's first thing. Very important. Because many times what happens, we don't help others. For your example, who are sitting here, many people, I have personally, even late night, some calls come to me for the DTM queries. I have helped them. I told them, come into the Zoom screen, share the screen, I will share. There are many people. Till yes, even yesterday, today, Friday, I don't get calls. Till yesterday, I had two calls on DTM. So first thing, let's have patience and courtesy to train others and motivate them to do DTM. That's the first thing. Second thing, whenever I go professionally outside now, I wear DTM pin and go. For non-Toastmasters, they'll just ask me, what is this? I have an opportunity to talk about Toastmasters. So we are not DTMs within the Toastmasters Zoom or in the club. We are the DTMs, ambassadors of Toastmasters in the community. Third important thing, why we are within Toastmasters only. If you are a Toastmaster three, four years, if you don't go out and train people, the people will never judge your Toastmaster skill. Last year, I have conducted 12 programs outside Toastmaster training teachers, training students, and personally five, one of our YLP parents, they connected me, they told personally train my children for speaking. So this is what we spread. And instead of whenever in your to oh, social media is very powerful tool, instead of sitting in a Starbucks, eating coffee, you write, put your photo, you are in a Toastmasters meeting and learn teaching Toastmasters skills and communication leadership. That is more recent. It's what we can do as a Toastmasters. I hope I have answered your question, CGD. Thank you. Thank you very much, DTM Roshan. Thank you. DTM Murli, would you like to add anything before we wrap up? Yes. DTM is one of the most prestigious thing, as District uh, Toastmaster Roshan said, uh, wherever you go, go with a pin. That's a beautiful thing, and I do that. Secondly, to answer the upcoming to, uh, DTM, Yasser, my great friend, DTM means you are like a light beacon. Like in the beach, you will see a lighthouse. The same way, whenever you are there, you will have to represent that integrity, respect, service, and uh, excellence. Anybody and everybody will can trouble you at any time because they know that you are a qualified person. Just let me tell you, uh, no offense to DTM Mona and uh, Rashid. On the other day, it was 12.45 midnight, I got a call from both of them. I know it is something, I mean, I did not know about this meeting, but I answered it. As a DTM, 
I mean, you people will ask you for any doubts or anything. It is not the time. I have been very kind enough for, to let me tell you to thank everybody who has disturbed me because that has been an opportunity for me to learn something new. So as a DTM means you are more responsible. You will have to show that everybody expects some quality with you. I mean, I'm not talking about the dressing pattern a lot, but whenever you speak anything professionally, it is a thing. Uh, two weeks back, I was on a um, All India Station Master Association meeting and uh, thereafter in the LIC meeting, I was wearing this. People were asking me, what is this? I said, this is this, and uh, I'm planning DTM Mona. I'm planning to have a, a education session that is called, uh, um, I mean, speakers, uh, uh, thing. I'm going to do that. It is only everybody sees you as an ambassador. Please act more professionally and be a responsible Toastmaster. Thank you and over to you. Thank DTM. you. Thank you very much DTM, for the yes, closing sir. remarks. Thank you very much, uh, DTM Roshan, DTM uh, Ram. Sorry, we've lost two in the middle. And also to our amazing DTM Morley. And one of the comments I received, uh, some one uh, Toastmaster is saying he can borrow some of your DTM hours so that he can become a DTM. So I, I ignore that question. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you very much. much. Thank, you. thank you very much for all the Thank you, PQD team, 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 for this yeah, opportunity. Toastmaster Anand, you have finished today one of your project, moderating yeah. panel discussion Moderate. in Pathways. Yes, thank I you. Know. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. giving me your DPQD team. I will. Can uh, I take one? We, we need to wrap it up. Uh, so yeah, yeah, only one minute. I would no, like no, to no, 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 no. We need to wrap it up. Oh. Sorry, DTM Murali. We are we are going to. Thank be you, late. thank you very much, and back to you, our it. amazing yeah. MC. Thank you. We can wait for your words of wisdom at the end, uh, DTM Murali. Uh, please be hand out. There is a big surprise at the end of the meeting, so please be there because after a word of thanks, we are going to have a surprise. Since it's a surprise, I cannot reveal it by now. You know, I've been given, you know, just to answer also Toastmaster Yasser, if you become a DTM, you remember you have to invite us for a party. So that's a thing that you have to do when receiving a DTM credit. I will not let you until I get the promise. Now, let's move on to our second session to learn more about mentorship program. Leila Gifty Akita, author of the book, Think Great, Be Great, says, I didn't know of any single soul who succeeded in life without mentorship. Now to lead us for the second session, we have a Toastmasters. Since 2006, he's been a member of Bahrain Society of Engineers Toastmasters Club, holds a master's degree in management from University of Kent. He is the chairman of Capital Municipal Council in Kingdom of Bahrain. Please welcome Toastmaster Saleh Tarada with his presentation titled Pathways Mentoring Program. Pathways Mentoring Program, Toastmaster Saleh Tarada. Thank you very much, amazing Toastmaster uh, Rashid for your excellent introduction. I am very happy to be with you. Of course, uh, my uh, greetings to all dignitaries within the Toastmaster ranks. Uh, I don't want to mention all the names and all the ranks at the moment. I think we need to get on with, with the job. Uh, I'm very glad uh, to, to, to be with you today. And I think I want to refer to uh, Hanan's presentation because she did mention that one of the requirements to become a DTM is to, to do club uh, mem uh, men mentorship. So my talk is going to be related to that. And I think we have a presentation uh, if, if it is going to be shared or I can share uh, the presentation I have. So do you have it already with you or can I use? Uh... Okay, excellent. All right, so let's get on with it. Uh, we, we go to the next slide, please. So as you can uh, see here, uh, the Pathways Mentoring Program, uh, is designed to help build and reinforce skills needed to provide a positive mentoring experience for proteges. Now, this word protege sometimes is referred to as mentee because there is a mentor and a mentee. 